This is LA Live from Los Angeles, welcome to the Dr. Aaron Show. We're all about manifestation, transformation, and breakthroughs. It's time to claim your birthright of prosperity, vitality, and love. So grab your tea or coffee because together we're awakening the world. May you live your truth. Are you feeling stuck? Are you feeling like you're not in flow of life? Maybe you actually are feeling like, I want to make money in my business as a spiritually based solopreneur, but I don't know how to really get in flow around it. I have to invest money to make money, or maybe you're somebody that really desires to have deeper relationships, but you can't quite let your heart go until someone else fully shows up and so on and so forth. So today's podcast is for you. Today's podcast is Universal Law of Giving and Receiving. 34 of a 52 series, because we're going to break down and really get into the flow of life. That's what it's all about. So today's podcast, we talk about the law of giving and receiving. So welcome to the Dr. Aaron podcast. We are all about enlightenment, empowerment, and yes, of course, all about you becoming the highest version of yourself. We truly believe that when somebody awakens, they have a gift and message to bring to the world and together we're awakening the world. So let's do this thing. Let's dive on deep in here. Okay. So I have this funny story. Last weekend, I actually went camping. And if you know me, you're going to be like, what? You went camping? (laughs) You know, (laughs) I love five-star resorts and I love camping. I love the dynamics of life. So one reason why I went camping is because I've been dying for mother nature. It's been so intense with lockdown and COVID in Los Angeles. And I just feel like I've been in my duplex so much. I've been alone more than I've ever been in my entire life. Even though I've got friends, even though I'm on zoom calls with hundreds of clients, I still spend so much time physically alone in my duplex. So mother nature has been calling more and more. Of course, I've been doing a lot of walks and so on and so forth, but mother nature is just like steeping in my heart. So I found out some people were going to go camping and I was like, oh my gosh, I want to go so bad. And I looked at the weather and it was going to be cold and it was going to rain. And I was like, oh, and my first thought was I won't get sleep. And maybe some of the people I'm going with, maybe they'll party and I won't be able to sleep as well. So I had this whole consideration around sleep, right? But I was like, I don't care. I need to get out into mother nature. So sure enough, I packed up my sleeping bag that I've only used one other time. I was a camp counselor at um, a teen camp thing for new thought movement. Anyway, so I pack up, you know, I bring like a tiny little bag because you're only allowed to bring one bag. There's going to be no phones, no reception for two nights and two days. And I was like, okay, I can do this. So I got my sleeping bag. I didn't even have an air mattress. I literally brought like this, this animal sheepskin thing. I was like, I don't care. I just have to get out there. I can always leave if I'm uncomfortable. So I go and sure enough, first night, I, I didn't sleep that much. I was a little bit like, you know, a little bit less sleep than normal, but not too bad. But the second day, each day we'd check in and we kind of, it was a very intentional spiritual group. So we'd check in and see how everyone's doing and what they're processing and what they're going through and all this stuff. And it came to me and, and very rarely do I share anything that feels off, but I just, I had to be authentic. And I was like, you know, I'm having a lot of consideration around sleep and I'm nervous that I'm not going to be rested come Monday and my weeks are really intense. And everyone just said, you know, thanks for sharing. Thanks for being vulnerable. Cause that's what we do in an intentional group. And they reminded me, which is so what we teach all the time in soul society and leadership, you know, that there's always an exchange. And I was like, oh yeah, duh. So there's always an exchange, whatever it is, wherever we want out of life, whatever we want to tap deeper into divine, wherever we want to get transformation, wherever we want to break through, there's always an exchange. We have to sacrifice at some level because if we want to go to the next level, we have to break through wherever we are having resistance. So for some people that might be money. So say you sign up for a course, you know, you're you're like, oh, I don't want to give this money. It's so hard in the moment that you actually let go of that money and sign up. Big shifts happen, miracles happen, breakthroughs happen, all the above. So here I am. My resistance is not necessarily money per se sometimes, but mine, I have a big resistance around sleep. Sleep is a big consideration like food, sleep, the basics of life. It gets me nervous. And so I was like, oh yeah. So of course I was like, okay, Aaron, you know this, you know this distinction. So I just surrendered. I was like, you know what? I'm staying. 
And you know what? If I get sleep, I get sleep. If I don't, I don't. I surrender. This is my exchange. Take it spirit. Take it my higher self. Take it divine. And guess what? I slept like a baby. I actually, at the end of the weekend, I felt more rejuvenated than I've ever felt in my entire life. It's been so long. I had been in mother nature. She had healed me energetically. She had, you know, just held me in her arms. I slept. I didn't even have an air mattress. I didn't have anything. So this is the point is that today we're talking about the law of giving and receiving. And the law of giving and receiving states that the universe doesn't know the difference between giving and receiving. They're both divine exchanges of energy, the expression for love. For us to receive, we must give and vice versa. The extent to which we give what we desire is the degree to which the universe will abundantly shower you with that. This interchange is the currency and flow of prosperity. So this is my question for you. What are you holding on to? What are you holding on to? Is it your heart? You don't want to give your heart. You might get hurt in a relationship. Is it money? You know, you're so concerned about money and hoarding money and, and not flowing in it. What is it that you're holding on to? Where is your resistance of actually flowing in life? There isn't any difference between giving and receiving. They are one and the same. And so I know is that your soul desires for you to expand your ability to flow in the exchange of energy with all of life. So what do we do? The first step to align with the law of giving and receiving is to let go. Let go of that one thing that you're so afraid to let go of, that you're hoarding, that you're coming from scarcity, right? You've got to give in order to receive and vice versa. And so I know that today is a perfect day to do that thing that gets you out of your comfort zone. If you want to take a quantum leap, if you want to have abundance and flow, if you want to have extraordinary relationships, today is the day to give what you are afraid you're going to, it's going to be taken away. So say, for example, it's a relationship. Maybe you're waiting for somebody else to show up fully for you before you open your heart. Maybe you're, you know, want, you want someone to commit, but you're too afraid to commit to somebody else until they commit, so on and so forth. So my invitation is to get out of your comfort zone. If it's in money, my invitation is for you to maybe invest in your consciousness, sign up for that course, come into Soul Society or wherever it is, right? Or maybe it's around relationship and maybe you need to call up somebody and go out of your way to make time to, you know, give your energy and spend time with somebody. Or maybe you're in a relationship and you're waiting for them to commit. Maybe it's time for you to commit and so on and so forth, right? If you're afraid of not having energy, then it's time to give energy. What are you afraid of? Are you afraid of, you know, not having food around and not having junk food around? Well, then maybe it's time to just let it go, throw it out, do whatever it is. So my invitation is to take a quantum leap, a blind leap of faith, as we say. What are you ready to let go of? Where's your biggest resistance? What is really holding you back in life? And it's time to go past that comfort zone. Maybe it's creating a course. Maybe it's getting that first client. Maybe it's doing the membership. Maybe it's going on that trip. You're afraid to, to leave your city. Maybe it's time to move. I can relate to that. So today is a law of giving and receiving. And in its exchange, there's no difference between receiving and giving. Maybe it's time for you to actually receive. What are you blocking? Maybe it's time to just allow it to flow without attachment to the future. Okay, so as we go into today, let's take a deep breath in through the nose. Getting your spine erect, sitting up straight, having the top of your head go out into infinity. Having your feet placed firmly flat on the ground, allowing your energy to go into the finite, the very, very center of earth. And recognizing it's all flow of giving and receiving. You are the channel and you are divine. You are the finite and you are the infinite. You are the alpha and omega. You are one with everything and it is all a flow. And it is only in mind that you can block the flow. It is in mind that as we open mind and open to the oneness and open to our unity and open to our divinity, we allow the receiving of all the gifts 
and we express from our heart and we flow in the abundance and prosperity of life in all dynamics. And so I declare this day to be a day of flow, a day of going beyond what you know, going beyond your comfort zone into the unknown and allowing the miracles to happen. And so I am so grateful. I'm so grateful to receive, to give, to flow in the currency of life, in the dynamics of all energy and all space and time of this universe and beyond, in the multidimensional aspect of who you are, which is an all-knowing, all-powerful spiritual being. And I say, let it flow. Let it flow. Let it be. Let the exchange, I receive, I receive, I receive, and I express and I give, and I know the truth of who I am. It always comes back. It always flows. There's always new opportunity, new innovations, new expression, new worlds, new chapters, new everything. And I say, I am the source of prosperity. I am the source of love. I am the source of all energy. And so I simply know this. I release it as my word is law. And I simply let it be as together we say. And so it is. Okay, you guys, go practice giving and receiving. Get out of your comfort zone. Take a quantum leap and know the truth of who you are. May you live your truth. Have a beautiful day. Thank you for tuning in to Society and Dr. Aaron Podcast. If you've had a calling to be a spiritual leader or coach, you can go to SoulCiety.com and check out our free training. If you've received value here, I would love it if you take a moment and give a five-star review. In exchange, I have a ton of free gifts for you. Grab your free awakening book, 40 guided meditations, and digital manifesting masterclass. I also have a free money meditation and worksheet for you so you can begin to break through your scarcity mindset and claim your birthright of prosperity. You can get all of your gifts and learn about our upcoming transformational events in my bio link in both Instagram and Facebook. That's under drerin.tv, which is D-R-E-R-I-N.tv. Also, I'd love to invite you into our free private community on Facebook under groups called Soul Society. That is facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash Soul Society. That's S-O-U-L-C-I-E-T-E. Have a divine day and may you live your truth.